We are engaged in a contest, so we must contend, fight, struggle, and strive against difficulties as if we are competing for a prize. We must endure and carry on through hardships, suffering patiently without yielding. Remain sleepless, keep awake and watch, be circumspect, attentive and ready, exercising constant vigilance, maintaining a wakeful frame of mind as opposed to listlessness, a state untouched by any slumberous or beclouding influences, and thence one that is guarded against advance of drowsiness or bewilderment, wary against spiritual dangers and beguilements. We shall sleep under the power of something higher, the Alpha and Omega, Father God, Ruler, Chief, and Benevolent Protector. We were bought and redeemed with a price. Christ purchased his disciples by the shedding of his blood. Because we have been purchased, we shall be withdrawn from the earth and its miseries and from wicked men. We shall be in the assembly of the elect, a collection of men in the congregation where those who have not washed themselves cannot eat. The dead will be aroused from the sleep of death when he recalls the dead to life causing them to appear before the public, and he will cause us to be born and rise up. Many shall perish and be destroyed, blotted out the Lamb's book of life. This is divine judgment on the lost and wandering sheep. Abraham is the father of multitude, but the chief of multitude is Father God. We shall fare well and prosper. Things will turn out well for us, and we will receive a commendation. He will say, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter ye into my rest. For our benefit and advantage, we will go from being clothed in our earthly body to being clothed with glory. Who is able to withstand God? No one. What think ye, that he will not come? It is certain inevitable, established beyond doubt or question, indisputable and definite. We are a kind of first fruits of his creatures, and with a certain fearful expectation, we await someone of importance, some imminent personage, something extraordinary. For this very reason, those who believe, though uncircumcised, will go from being clothed in our earthly body to being clothed with glory. We shall experience things which cannot be expressed in words. We shall hear things which cannot be uttered when the Most High speaks to us, disclosing His thoughts. These are the utterances of Yah. As each thunder uttered its particular voice, the force and meaning of which the prophet understood. The expiatory blood of Christ begs, implores, and appeals earnestly for the pardon of our sins, speaking things which tend to edify and comfort the soul, prompted by divine influence to announce and preach the word of God in the doctrine of salvation by the Alpha and Omega. Our praise is a thank offering presented to God for the benefits we receive. We shall sing praises in honor of God, and we shall promise a vow standing on the surface of the sea of glass. We are made sinless by the one who is without sin. The one who cannot sin is Yeshua. Even though at times we may miss the mark in sin, do not wander from the path of uprightness and honor. Do not wander from the law of God violating God's laws, and you will be given your part and lot in fellowship with the Alpha and Omega. This is revelation and truth. It is light with the brightness of the light of fire. We must let our light shine as the brightness of the sun. Yeshua will light us up, causing our faces to shine because we are imbued with His wisdom. The Antichrist, the adversary of Messiah, the most pestilent being, will appear just before the Messiah's advent. What ye have heard concerning Antichrist as about to make his appearance just before the return of Christ is now fulfilled in many false teachers, most worthy to be called Antichrists. However, the Antichrist is an individual man of the very worst character instigated by the devil to try and palm himself off as God. Christ is the anointed Messiah, the Son of God, who is Yeshua, Jesus, who by his Holy Spirit lives in the souls of his followers 
and so molds their character that they bear his likeness. A mind conformed to the mind of Christ, he shall anoint us in doing his disciples with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. He will touch us with his hands, putting clothing upon us, and because we have earnestly prayed and petitioned him, he will furnish us with what is needful. He is our help. God is present with us, protecting, aiding, upholding, and preserving us through his might and power. They will open a gaping opening, a gulf or chasm, a deep opening in earth's surface. This is the abyss. There will be winter storms, rainy weather, a tempest and foul weather during the winter season on account of pouring rains. Because of the richest abundance of Yah's grace, we must cry out, shout aloud with a strong voice, implore His aid, and we shall go into the midst of heaven. He shall wipe away every tear, and we shall not be left behind. We are invited to his dinner banquet and formal meal. Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bitten. Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. The man-child will be caught up to God and to his throne. Amen.